Hello and welcome to the solution video to spicy question number 4. To solve this question I'm going to draw a Venn diagram for each pair of numbers. So one for A and B, one for A and C, and also one for B and C. Now if we read the line that says the highest common factor of A and B is 12, if we now look at the Venn diagram for A and B, 12 must be the product of the numbers that go here in the intersection. If you write 12 as the product of prime factors it's 2 times 2 times 3, so we can place two twos and a three in here. In a similar way, if we look at the highest common factor of a and c, we're told that's 18. So on the Venn diagram for a and c, in the intersection here, we need to put the prime factors for 18. 18 is two times three squared, so two times three times three. Now we can use this information to fill in part of the final Venn diagram as well. If you look at the first Venn diagram, we can see there's a two in the intersection here. This means that 2 must be a factor of b. If we look at the second Venn diagram, we also have a 2 here, so 2 must be a factor of c. In a similar way, 3 is a factor of b, and 3 is a factor of c. So both 2 and 3 are factors of b, and they're factors of c. Therefore they must be in the intersection of b and c. So we can put 1, 2, and 1, 3 in here. Now let's return to the first Venn diagram. Notice how there are two twos in the intersection here. We can see that there are two twos inside the A circle, which means wherever else we write an A circle, there must be two twos. So there's a circle here that represents A, but at the moment that's only got one two in it. So we need an extra two inside this circle. We could either put it in the left section here, or in the intersection here. Now if we put it in the intersection, this would increase our highest common factor, so it can't actually go there, therefore it must go in this left side here. In a very similar way, if we look at these threes here, there are two threes inside this A circle, so there must be two threes inside this A circle. At the moment, we only have one. It's either going to go in this left section here, or in the intersection. But again, it can't go in the intersection, otherwise this would change the highest common factor from 12. So we get an extra three over here. Now let's look at the final statement we're given in the question. The lowest common multiple of B and C is 1080. If we prime factorise 1080, this is what we get. So all of these numbers need to appear somewhere in our final Venn diagram, the one for B and C. We've already got 1, 2 and 1, 3, so let's cross those out. And now we consider where to place the remaining numbers. Let's start with these two 2's here. I'm going to explain why it's not possible to place the 2's inside the C circle here. If I place the 2 inside this C circle, I'd also have to place a 2 inside this C circle. Now for the same reasons as before, we can't place the 2 in the intersection of A and C. This would change the highest common factor from 18. So we'd need to put it in the right hand section here. Now this also causes us a problem because we have a 2 in the left section over here. You can't have an extra 2 in the left section and the right section, otherwise we have an extra factor of 2 in both A and C, in which case we need to place it in the middle. So we can't place another 2 in the C circle at all. Now if we can't place a 2 inside the C circle, these extra two 2's that we need must go inside the B circle instead. So let's put those in there. We can use the same logic for the two 3's now. The two 3's cannot go inside the B circle. If I place the 3 inside this B circle, I'd also have to place a 3 inside this B circle. Now I can't put it in the intersection or that will change the highest common factor of A and B, so it would need to go in the right hand side here. But once again I've got an extra 3 already in the left side of this Venn diagram, and one on the right, therefore it'd actually need to go in the middle, which we know we can't do. So the 3's can't go inside the B circle, so they must both go inside the C circle. Now we're nearly there. We just need to tidy up our first two Venn diagrams a bit. If you look at this circle here, you can see B is made up of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, but this circle in the first diagram is missing one of the 2's. So we'll place that 2 in the right section here. In a similar way, the C circle here is made up of 2 times 3 times 3 times 3, whereas this circle is missing one of the 3's, so we'll put that in the right side here. Now we need to ask ourselves where should we place this 5? So it needs to go somewhere in the bottom diagram, and wherever we put it we're going to increase that number by a factor of 5. Since we're trying to make the lowest possible value of A plus B plus C, it doesn't make any sense to put it in the intersection, as that would increase both B and C by a factor of 5. So we want to place it in either just B or just C. 
Since b is a smaller number, because it's made up of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, compared to 2 times 3 times 3 times 3, we're going to place it inside the b circle. So here. All we need to do now is work out what all of our numbers a, b and c are. So a will be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. b will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And c will be 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. If you work all of these out, you get a is 36, b is 120, and c is 54. So the lowest possible value of a plus b plus c is all of these added together, which is 210. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful, check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.